Hello, my name is Michael Orlando and I'm an aspiring broadcast journalist from South Florida. I got my start four and a half years ago and I've gone to some amazing heights. I've met incredible people, gone to incredible places, and made some incredible content. Without further ado, here's a sample of some of my work. I'm Michael Orlando. I'm Kimberly Blum, and we, along with Isabella Chapini and Emma Luckman, competed in the feature story competition. We had six hours to create a 90 second long feature story, and as you can see, we got second place out of everyone in the nation. Kim, I know you hate scary stuff, so you may want to look away for this next segment. Actually, Sam did a pretty good job at explaining this new type of horror. Here she is with the rundown. It only makes sense to start at the very beginning. We're talking pre-aftershock, a show literally called The Friday Show. It's a little on the nose, but whatever. And I think I speak for both Kim and I, and everyone, when I say we're just getting started. If you'd like to watch previous episodes, make sure to check out our YouTube channel at Cyberspace CBTV and follow all of our social medias. And I'm Michael Orlando. And I'm Michael Orlando. And I'm Michael Orlando. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And I'm Michael Orlando. Thanks for watching. The inside of a kitchen. During peak hour, may get a little bit hectic. Today is Chicago's the prettiest hot dog. Especially when your kitchen is inside a hot dog restaurant. That's frankly tiny. Even despite the size, the people with the biggest appetites still seem to stop here first. So good. If not for the delicious dogs, and for the shop's delightful owner. Dig it a dog, girls and boys. She just makes it a, like a, a very pleasant experience. Uh, uh, she's like family, yeah, I mean, she makes you feel welcome. For nearly 30 years, Rosina Smith has run her store with almost zero complaints. I very seldom hear, this is horrible, bring it back. I, I could count on one hand, and maybe three fingers. And a lot of happy customers. Customers, Rosina wasn't afraid to add to her ever-growing family. It, goes, it holds true with a lot of my customers. I've, you know, I've built up relationships for, I, I can't even count how many families I've touched and they've touched me. Which is why it came to no one's surprise when in the daily conversations with her patrons, she said that she brought home a completely new family. I had to do something. I just really, it was just a calling at that time. It was a need. It's very much in need. In September of 2019, Hurricane Dorian made landfall. With winds of over 185 miles per hour, it affected the lives of everybody living in the Bahamas, including the lives of the family living in the house behind me. French coats that they had to wear, but they continue to walk. Dozens of Florida citizens have gathered before Lauder Hill City Hall in protest that we could stand together and raise an awareness and raise our voice collectively. In protest of what is nothing short of an injustice. We're saying that we want all people to be recognized as a missing person. People of color make up only 13% of the population, yet make up 35% of all missing person reports. Unfortunately, a lot of the time, missing people of color are just labeled as runaways, which means they don't get an Amber Alert, they don't get a lot of media attention, and they definitely don't get as much law enforcement engagement as they should. People think equity and equality is the same thing, and it's not. And so there are so many times where white women get so much media attention, response, and a call to action when they are missing. And black, brown, and indigenous people, humans, we don't, they don't get that same respect. Which is why everyone here at the Sound the Alarm event in Broward County are ready to make their call to action. We're sounding the alarm. We're sounding the alarm for change. A small step in the eyes of one person could be a lot bigger in the eyes of another. So it only makes sense that thousands of steps could very well change someone's life. Thousands of steps were taken here at the 2021 Fort Lauderdale Kidney Walk, all for the same cause. The whole event is about spreading awareness for kidney diseases. It's more so about getting people together and understanding that this is something that can be prevented. Every year, hundreds gather to help raise awareness and money for kidney disease. We're all here supporting kidney health. And everyone gets involved. 
So the people that take care of our patients are actually out here doing the walk and, you know, our patients are walking, which is just incredible for them to be able to finish the entire, you know, 5K basically. Um, it really was impressive to, to have them out here and so inspiring to see them be a part of it. Everyone has their own reason to walk. Just now, someone was telling me about their son, she started crying. She started crying because of the support and things like that because it's really hitting heartstrings and pulling on heartstrings because these are people's families and they're going through something that you never know what happened. I mean, I can remember when my father went through it, it just happened in the blink of an eye. You never know. On the 12th of May, there is a fly ball deep to center field. The first Most baseball fans won't recognize his name. That is a strike. Many wouldn't even be able to point him out in a picture. Pitched a no-hitter against Pittsburgh. Which is why it may just be a bit of a curveball to find out that this man used to be a baseball legend. He was a Negro League baseball pitcher and outfielder. Uh, and his legacy was taken away from him by segregation in the game of baseball. Once a smash hit, he appeared in more than a few newspapers. And the number is 7,854 newspaper references we have for his career right now. Pete Gordon, for the past 20 odd years, has been doing everything he can to retell John Donaldson's story almost a century later. What my job is, is to get rid of something called John Donaldson Hoop.